Can you hear me? So yesterday we we, we stopped with the uh, uh, normal pressure, di ba? Yung discussion natin. Uh, I mean, the Pascal's Law pala. Mabatay ng Pascal's Law. So our last topic yesterday is uh, about Pascal's Law. Tama ba? Yes, of course. Okay, so... We will continue our topic today. Tatlong topic ating tatapusin. And then on Friday, I will give an online quiz. So, na-finish natin. Uh, we will finish today the coverage of midterm exam. So, I'll be sharing your... I'll be sharing my presentation. Okay, do you see my screen? Lapa. Kita na po, sir. Okay na, nakikita na? Okay, so let's review first the topic yesterday. Okay, dito tayo mag-review sa start tayo sa pressure since our next topic is reading manometers and gauge pressures. So again, uh, to find the value of pressure difference, kailangan nating isubtract yung below na pressure doon sa taas na pressure because the pressure below is much of greater than of pressure above. So mas malaki yung pressure na nasa baba compared sa taas because of the the theory that the pre the lower the elevation, the higher the pressure. Okay? So, next is that that is P2 minus P1 equal to the specific weight of the substance of this water, since this is water, that is 10.81. Okay? Times the difference of their height. So, again, dalawang factor kung bakit nagkakaroon tayo ng value ng pressure. The specific weight of the substance matter and the height of their difference. Next is example if yung pressure is nasa surface and hindi naman binigay yung ating atmospheric pressure automatic. Yung pressure nasa surface is zero, right? What will happen if that is zero magiging P2 na lang equal to the specific weight times the height. Next, if yung pressure natin is of the same height, again, yung value ng pressure magdedepende kasi sa height. So, pag same lang height, magiging zero yung pressure difference, di ba? So, therefore, the P2 and P1 is equal. Okay, the idea of this house, uh, from the faucet to the water tank, we need to find the pressure here in the faucet or yung pressure na nasa gripo natin. So to find it, that is P2, since P2 is much greater pressure than of P1, that is equal to the space P1 here is uh, given yung atmospheric pressure. So, therefore, yung P1 is magiging atmospheric pressure. If hindi binigay yung atmospheric pressure, automatic yung P1 magiging zero. So, equal to specific weight times height. Therefore, to find the pressure here at 2 or the pressure here in the house, that is equal to transpose yung P atmospheric magiging uh, specific weight ng water times the difference of P2 to PATM or P1 plus PATM. So, ganun lang. You need to subtract the below pressure sa above pressure equal to the specific weight times the height of their difference. Gets na ba yun? Yes. Okay, then let's proceed to the next topic. We do have pressure measurement. So, there are uh, several types of pressure measurements. 
or pressure devices. Okay? That is, of course, a device used to measure pressure. But, di ba, may tatlo tayong type ng pressure. We do have gauge pressure. We also have atmospheric pressure. So, there is only one device on how to measure our atmospheric pressure. What we call the barometer. So, sa problem, pag binigay yung barometric reading, meaning the type of pressure you're solving is atmospheric pressure. Next is the manometer. Manometer is used to measure gauge pressure. So, ito pala yung uh, mukha ng barometer. So, the manometer is used to measure gauge pressures. So, there are many types of manometer. We do have open type manometers. And open type manometers meaning open siya sa atmosphere. As you can see here, the glasses here is open to the atmosphere. And the open type manometers is subdivided into three, depende kung ano yung shape ng, uh, shape ng kanyang glass. We do have YouTube, well type, and inclined. So this is the YouTube open type manometer, well type. So sa well type naman meron siyang source on the other end ng glass. So meaning meron siyang um, parang container. <laughs> parang container pero open pa din siya. Last is the inclined. Of course, naka-inclined yung glass type. Differential type. So these are the differential type without an atmospheric pressure surface and capable of measuring only devices in pressure. So ito yung ibig sabihin ng differential type. So from the word differential type, uh, from the root word difference, so makukuha mo yung difference between point A and point B and closed type din siya na manometer. Okay? So that are uh, that is one, uh, meron din siyang YouTube and inclined. Of course, differential type is closed. Next one is the piezometer. Piezometer is, or piezometer, simplest form of open manometer. It is a tube tapped in a wall of container for the purpose of measuring pressure. So, ito yung mga mesh, uh, devices used to measure pressure at the bottom. So, if hindi nyo siya nakita in the... <coughs> Uh, real life setting, ito ay nasa mga dams, minimeasure doon ang pressure sa ilalim ng tubig or mga, uh, ang tawag yan? mga water, parang mga, saan tawag yan? Parang daanan ng mga tubig sa, for the water source ng mga farming, ganun. Minalagyan nila ng parang piezometer to measure the pressure below. Meron din tayong piezometer sa cities nilagyan dito ng mga uh, pipes to know that the pressure of water flowing inside the pipe. So, yun. So, anong pagkakaibahan ng, ano nga yun, atmospheric pressure sa gauge pressure? <coughs> so, yun. yung atmospheric pressure, you are solving the pressure of the air. Yun lang, pressure of the air. Next is yung gauge pressure is you are solving the the liquid or the substance you are uh, solving, substance matter. So that is the gauge pressure. So there are uh, types of uh, well, case scenario wherein uh, the fluid is in continuous or not continuous. So first type if the pressure is of the same level, again, PA and PB is equal. Bakit naging equal to? Again, dalawang factor lang bakit nagkakaroon ng value yung pressure. We do have the specific weight or the substance itself and the height difference. Of course, the same sila ng height and then the same sila ng liquid which is water. Therefore, PA is equal to PB. So, Punta tayo sa next scenario wherein dinagdagan ng, uh, uh, dinagdagan ng tubig dito ulit yung uh, second reservoir or container. What will happen to pressure A and C if the same din sila ng height? Okay? So, di ba? Continuous din yung ating fluid. 
meaning same lang yung fluid tapos same lang yung kanilang height therefore PA is equal to PC. Okay, pag binigyan ulit natin ng points ng pressure at D and E, so again, same ng fluid, same ng height. So ano pala yung different, uh, uh, height nila dito galing sa, or yung reference point is at the bottom. So PD is equal to PE. Next, what if uh, we analyze this third scenario wherein PA is equal to P, uh, PA and PF? The pressure here is is this is equal to pf <coughs> yes or no is the pressure pa equal to pf do you have any idea the ba same sila ng height same sila ng height but yung specific weight ng substance is not the same so this is water and this is uh, example this is oil so magkakaroon ng uh, hindi pareho na pressure because iba-iba yung liquid. Gets ba? Uh -huh. uh, lastly, this one is enclosed yung ating system. Okay? So, there is an obstacle wherein closed yung system. Of course, hindi na yun magiging continuous type of flow. So, PA is equal to, is not equal to PI. Okay? Next. Uh, if there is an example wherein uh, nasa, pa, nasa gitna yung ibang liquid and then on the left reservoir there is water and the right reservoir there is water. So to analyze the value of PA and PF, so therefore PA and PF is not equal since nahiwalay kasi sila. Okay? Dapat continuous yung flow. Continuous yung flow. Dito na block din kaya it's not equal PA and PI. PA and PF is not equal. But PG and PH is equal because continuous yung flow, same yung liquid, and then same yung kanilang height. So, ganun lang yung analysis on cases on how we are going to find uh, continuous fluid and the value of pressures, pressure differences. Okay. How do we solve pressure inside a simple manometers? Okay, so let's try first the first scenario. So this is a um, open type manometer, okay? So since open siya dito. And then at the surface, this type of surface, na natin yung... Uh, Pressure ng gas. Okay? Pressure ng gas ba to? Yes. The pressure difference between PETM and the pressure of gas. So, ang PETM natin, uh, sinabi dito na may PETM. So, at this pressure, and this is pressure 2. So, how do we find the pressure of gas? Okay? So, again... Ang sinasabi ko kanina na ang pressure below is much greater than pressure above. So, to, to, to initiate the formula, this is P2 minus P1 equal to the specific weight of the liquid matter times the difference of their height. So, saan ba tayo magdi-difference ng height? Of course, from this point to this point. Okay. So that is the value of their H. So P2 at point 2 minus the above surface P1 which is equal to P atmospheric dahil, uh, dahil nga ay binigyan ng value yung surface. If walang P atmospheric, automatic yung P1 is 0. Equal to the specific weight. Uh, we are solving the pressure here of the water times height. So makukuha natin yung pressure ng gas. So next um, next naman yung pressure ng gas is hindi naman binigay yung pressure ng gas. Usually, hindi ito ibinibigay. Bakit? Dahil yung pressure ng gas is negligible. Okay? So magkakaroon lang ng pressure ng gas if binigay yung density ng gas. So usually magkakaroon tayo ng 1.2 kg. Uh, 
per cubic meter. Ito yung uh, density ng gas. So, to find the uh, specific weight ng gas, that is specific weight times density times the gravitational pull. So, mas maliit lang yung value na yan. Eh, may newton pa yan, di ba? So, we are usually solving kilonewtons. Mamaya, we will uh, have examples kung bakit ay kinoconsider nila yung gases na zero na yung pressure because of its little value. Pag binigay yung density, then doon ka na mag-assume sa uh, pressure ng gas. So, maliit lang yung pressure ng gas. Mga point something lang yan, point, point zero zero something. Balik tayo dito. So, this is pressure ng gas. Okay, pressure ng gas, which is this point 2, minus P atmospheric equal to specific weight and times height. So, balik na naman tayo. Pag kukunin natin yung pre-atmospheric, of course, uh, uh, ay transpose lang natin yung pre-atmospheric sa right side. Okay? So, therefore, pre-atmospheric is equal to P, pressure of the gas, minus the specific weight of the substance times height. Yes, do you have a question? Mula naman. Okay, wala ha. So therefore, uh, I can conclude that the pressure of gas here is greater than the pressure of the surface or PETM. Gets ba? Bakit nagiging malaki yung pressure ng gas? First, uh, by inspection, if you can see, if pinush ng gas dito, kung malaki yung pressure ng gas, na naiangat niya yung water. Okay, pataas. Okay? So, meaning, second point kung bakit malaki, nasabi ko na malaki yung pressure ng gas is nasa below yung, itong ano niya, sa right side ng glass, nasa below yung water surface. Meaning, ang pressure dito is malaki compared dito. Gets ba? So, sa second, uh, sa second scenario, pressure ng gas over the pressure of ATM. So, how do you subtract this one? Again, magsasubtract ka doon sa below surface. So, this is pressure 1. Uh, again, natin ang paano ba ko sinabi dito? Pressure uh, parang pressure 2 pa din to. Pressure 2 and pressure 1. Okay? So, sinabi ko dito yung pressure 2 is yung pre-atmospheric and then yung pressure of gas is P1. Okay? So, pressure 2, which is mas malaki dahil nasa baba yung pressure 2 minus the P pressure 1. So, yung pressure 2, that is the P atmospheric. Yung pressure 1 is the gas equal to the specific weight of the liquid times their height difference. So, ito yung height difference nila. Okay? So, therefore, to find the value of P gas, that is P ATM minus specific weight times height. So, yun. Uh, I can also say that P atmospheric here is greater than a P gas. First, by inspection, P atmospheric pushes hard the water para maiangat yung di doon sa left side. Diba? Mas malaki dito. So, it pushes hard than of P gas. Second is, nasa baba yung water level at the right side. Meaning, yung pressure sa atmospheric is much of greater than pressure of the gas. So, another thing is, uh, ang convention natin sa kung bakit nagiging plus to or minus, uh, malalaman natin sa next slide, kung marami tayong liquid na ilalagay na dyan, if we go down, we add the pressure. Okay? If we go up, we subtract the pressure. Bakit? Dahil nga ang pressure, pag bumaba tayo, mas malaki yung pressure pag nasa lower elevation compared sa upper elevation. So let's have an example. Uh, let's have another scenario. This one. So nakikinig pa ba? Yes po. Yes po. Okay. So, kanina, isang liquid lang yan, di ba? So, let's try to have a different type of liquid. We have P gas, 
again, neglectable tong pre-gas na to because wala namang binigay na density. We also have water, we also have oil, we also have mercury. The question here is find the pressure between P1, this one, and pressure 4, which is the pressure of gas. P1 is P atmospheric. Binigay yung P atmospheric, di ba? So, P1 is equal to P atmospheric. Hindi siya magiging zero. So, to solve this, there are two ways on how to solve this. Uh, first is, isa-isahin mo yung pressure ng 1, pressure ng 2, pressure ng 3, and pressure of 4. And ang, ang hinahanap dito is pressure 1 and 4, di ba? So, after you have solved each of the pressure, isa-subtract mo na P1 minus P4. But there are also... Two, uh, the second way is diretso ka na. Okay, diretso, diretso ka na. And then you're able to find P1 minus P4. So yun yung shortcut method. So yun yung pag ano ka na. Pag magaling ka na. Okay, pag alam na na yung uh, theory ng pressures. So let's try an example number one. Okay, let's try to solve the pressure two and pressure one. Let's analyze first here. Okay, this part here. Okay. It says here that pressure 1 is atmospheric pressure. So therefore, meron na tayong value ng P1, which is the 101 kilopascal. Check. So may P1 na tayo. So P2 and P1, how do you find P2 and P1? Saan nga tayo magsasubtract doon sa First natin isa-subtract yung nasa baba. Okay? So, P1 minus P2. Kuha ba? Yes. So, P1 is greater than of P2 dahil nasa baba siya. So, P1 minus P2 equal to the specific weight of the liquid matter which is mercury times that pressure difference. So, ang pressure difference from point 0.1 to point 0.2 is 15 centimeters. So, in meters... Dapat ang ating mga measurements or units na to ay consistent. Dahil yung specific weight natin is kilonewton per cubic meter, dapat yung 15 centimeter magiging meter. Okay, balik tayo. So therefore, P1 minus P2 is equal to the specific weight of mercury times the difference of P1 and P2. So P2 is equal to P1. So, uh, yung P1 natin transpose the right side magiging uh, di ba? This is the original equation. So, nilipat yung P2, yung specific item site nilipat din, kaya magiging subtraction. So, therefore, 101 kilopascal, the specific weight of mercury, paano nga tayo nag-solve ng specific weight ng substance? <laughs> ano nga formula dun? Sg ng substance times the Specific weight of water. Gets ba to? This is the specific weight of mercury. To find the specific weight of mercury, that is the Sg of mercury, which is 13.6 times the specific weight of water. Times the, lastly, is the height difference. So from pressure 1 to pressure 2 is 15 centimeter in meters, divide mo lang ng 100. Makukuha mo yung pressure 2. Next, how do we find pressure 3? So, to find pressure 3, dito ulit tayo magtitingin. Okay. Di ba may pressure 2 na tayo? So, how do we find pressure 3? Subtract natin yung... Hindi. Na, ay, ano yung una isa-subtract natin? I mean... Asan yung baba dito? Saan yung mas malaki? Yung P3 or P2? P3. Okay, so there is P3 minus P2 equal to the specific weight times the uh, the height of difference. Okay? So yung P3 natin yung, yung mas malaki. Dahil nasa baba nga siya, pressure is greater than of the lower elevation. So, pag uh, nilipat natin, P3, kasi yung hinahanap natin, that is P2, 
plus the specific weight of the substance matter times the height. So, P3 is equal to, P2 natin is 80.988 plus, this is a specific weight of, ano nga to? Specific weight of this one, oil, times height. To find the specific weight of oil, that is the SG of oil times the specific weight of water. So, actually, nasolve ko na to sa next slide times the pressure difference ng height nila. So, P3 is 80.988 plus SG ng oil, it is given 0.8 times the specific weight of water, 9.81 kN per cubic meter times the height. Difference from this 0.3 to 0.2 is 30 centimeters. So, in meters, that is 300 divided by 100 meters. So, P3 here is, sinold ko na yan. So, this is 83.342 kPa. Nagigets ba? Uy, gets ba? 83 point. Clear po, sir. Yes po, sir. Okay. Okay, ulit. Dito naman tayo sa pressure for... Kayo nga, how to find pressure for, that is, ano isa-subtract natin, saan yung mas malaki, P3 or P4? P3 po rin po sir. Okay, so P3 minus P4 equal to the specific weight of the substance, which is water, times the difference of their height. So, to find P4, uh, lipat natin siya sa left side. Magiging subtraction to. Yan, P4. Okay? Dilipat natin yung specific weight times height. Tapos, lipat din natin yung P4. Ganun lang yung pag-solve ng pressures. Pero may short kayo dito. Mamaya. So, P4, ang, ang P3 natin nakuha is, ano nga yun? 83.342. Minus... The specific weight of the substance, of course, water naman to, it is 9.81 kN. Diba SG ng water is 1 times specific weight ng water, 9.81. Pwede na ding wala tong 1 kasi water lang naman to. Times the pressure difference from 3 to 4 is 20 cm divided ng 100 para magiging meter. So P4 there is 81.380 kPa. Therefore, Ang hinahanap is P1 minus P4. So to find P1 minus P4, that is P1 minus P4. P1 minus P4 is 101 minus 81.380. Therefore, that is 19.6862. As you can see, yung point 1 natin is below than of P4. Therefore, mas malaki yung P1. <coughs> So, how do we find this one? If Doon na tayo sa shortcut. So, yun yung first way natin na isa-isay natin. But, ano siya ka na? Uh, uh, it takes a lot of time. So, how do we find this one? Shortcut na tayo. How do we find the difference of P1 minus P4? Okay. Pag tinatanong between P1 and P4, Meaning, you subtract P1 minus P4. Gets ba? So, diretso na tayo. P1 minus P4. This is the second way in how to solve it. Okay? Again, may kakaroon tayo ng convention. If we go down, we add the pressure. Ano yung i-add natin? Yung pressure ng specific weight times height. If we go up, we subtract the pressure. Subtract the specific weight of uh, substance and height. Again, makinig ha. From P1 to P4, ang uunahin natin, mag-start tayo sa P1. Okay? Start tayo sa P1. So, dito tayo mag-start. So, from P1 to P2, that is mercury and the... Uh, ang formula kasi dito is the uh, summation of the specific weight times the... 
height. So mag mag-iba lang kan mag-iiba lang kanilang uh, sign convention. Depende kung pababa tayo at saka pataas tayo. Okay. So from P point 1 to point 2 tayo ay from point 1 to point 2 tayo ay umang uh, pataas. So meaning sulat natin. Tayo ay pataas therefore Subtraction. Tama? Subtraction ng specific weight ng mercury. Since this is mercury, ito yung sinold natin sa so 0.1 to 0.2, mercury yan, di ba? So that is specific weight ng mercury, which is the SG ng mercury, 13.6 times the uh, specific weight ng water. Gets na ba ito? Bakit naging ganito yung specific weight ng mercury? Again, always remember the formula kung lagi kong sinasabi na SG equal to specific weight ng substance over the specific weight of water. Ito yung pinaka-importanting formula natin. To find the specific weight of substance, that is the SG of substance times the specific weight of water, wherein the specific weight of water is just equal to 9.81 kN per cubic meter. So, gets na ba in specific weight ng mercury? That is, SG ng mercury times the specific weight of water. Gets na to? Yes, no. Okay. Times the, the difference of height from point 0.1 ng point 0.2 is 15 centimeter. So Divide weird. Divide lang natin. 100 <laughs> pag, para magiging. Bait din ni Mrs. A. Next. Salamat, Shopee. From point 0.2 to point 0.3 tayo ay bumaba. Positive or negative? Positive po. Okay, positive. Uh, we are dealing now with oil. So, the specific weight of oil is equal to the SG of oil, which is 0 0.8 times the specific weight of water. Okay, times the difference, that is 0 0.2 to 0 0.3, that is 30 centimeter, which is 30 divided by 100 para magiging meter. Gets? Kayo nga, pag 0.3 to 0.2 tayo ay tumaas, di ba? Pataas tayo, di ba? So therefore, this is <coughs> subtraction. So we are dealing with water, tama? The specific weight of water is just the SG of water, which is 1, times the specific weight of water, yun lang naman din, or just 9.81, pwede lang, times the difference from 0.3 to 0.2 is 20 centimeter divided by 100 para maging meter. Try to solve that one. Makukuha mo yung 19.62. As you can see, ang mga pre, ang ang ating unit dito ay kilonewton per square meter. Anong equivalent niyan? That is kilo? Pascal. Okay. Gets ba? So that's how you solve the pressure difference. Yan. No, wait, I have to go down. Right, let's have an example. <coughs> example number one. Manometer is used to measure the pressure of a gas in a tank. The fluid used has a specific gravity of 0.85 and the manometer column height is uh, 55 centimeter. If the local atmospheric pressure is 96 kilopascal, determine the absolute pressure within the tank. So we need to uh, find the pressure of the tank. Mm. This one, the pressure here at the tank. So, dito tayo magbabase ng pressure ng tank. Uh, hindi naman, may pressure ba yung, may binigay ba yung ano ng tank? So, gas of tank. So, meaning, gas to, di ba? Or P gas. Therefore, wala namang binigay yung, walang binigay na density yung P gas. Okay? So, dito na tayo mag measure ng pressure from point here. So, say for example, this is P... P1 and this is P2. 
So the local atmospheric pressure is 96 kilopascal, meaning P1 is equal to the P atmospheric. Determine the absolute pressure within the tank. So we need to find the pressure here. So to find the pressure of the tank, that is pressure 2 minus pressure 1, since malaki yung pressure dito, equal to the specific weight of the substance matter times the height. So as you can see, yung P2 natin is just the pressure of the tank. Minus, ang P1 natin is merong atmospheric pressure. So P tank is equal to uh, P ATM plus the specific weight plus height. So P tank is equal to P atmospheric is 96 kilopascal plus the specific weight which is uh, this one is the specific weight of a substance 0.85 specific gravity times 9.81 the specific weight of water times the height of difference this is 55 centimeter from 0.1 to 0.2 it is 55 divided by 100 para magiging meter pressure ng tank is equal to 100.586 kilopascal. Gets? So, if... Okay na to? Yan yan. Clear po sa... So, next example, determine the pressure at A in PSIG due to the deflection of mercury. SG of the mercury is 13.57 in the YouTube case shown in the figure below. So, we need to find the pressure A. To, uh, this is the, uh, since uh, pressure A has water, dito pala yun, so pressure A. pressure D. So, kanina, gas lang yun, di ba? Ang gas natin, kinoconsider natin as zero. So, yun. Kaya, dito na tayo nag, uh, may measure ng pressure. So, this, for now, this is water. So, this is PA. This is PD. To measure the pressure here, mas malaki yung pressure sa A. So, therefore, that is PA minus PD equal to the specific weight of the substance times height. Okay, so first is meron ba tayong atmospheric pressure? May binigay ba? Wala po. So therefore, yung PD natin is zero. So from PA, that is dalawa. From PD to PA, dalawa yung liquid. Okay? That is mercury and water. So, ano nga yung convention natin? If we go... Down, we pla we add the specific weight on the height. If we go up, we subtract the specific weight and height. Okay, so this is the specific weight times height from PA. So start tayo from balitad pala yung kanina. Bal balitad pala yung kanina. So from PA to PD. So start tayo sa PD. Hindi pala yung P. Babalikan ko kanina ha. So, start tayo dito. Since zero na yung PD, so this is the specific weight of the first is mercury. The specific weight of mercury is equal to uh, SG na mercury, which is 13.57 times the specific weight of water, 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meter. Times the difference from PD to PB, since dito nag-stop yung mercury, is this one 10 minus 12.6 ay ano pala sorry sorry this is english unit so ang english unit ng specific weight ng water is 62.4 pound force per cubic feet if this is metric that is 9.81 kilonewton per cubic feet Okay, so but mali pala tayo. So this is the specific weight, uh, the specific gravity of 
mercury, which is 13.57 times the specific weight of water in English, 62.4 pound force per cubic feet, right? Times the height of difference, that is 12.65 minus 10, that is in feet. Okay, ano ba yung magiging uh, side convention niya, positive or negative? From point D to point C tayo, tayo ay bumaba, di ba? So, yun ay, tama, positive. Kuha ba? Yes. Next, from point B to point A tayo ay tumaas, di ba? So, therefore, this is subtraction. Subtraction, ano yung specific weight ng, na napaloob dito sa PNPB? This is water specific weight ng what specific weight ng water is the sg of water which is 1 yes po the question so specific weight specific gravity ng water which is 1 times the specific weight of water in english unit at 62.4 pound force per cubic feet times the difference from point b to point a that is 10, uh, 12 minus 10. This is 12. This is 10. Okay. Okay. PA is equal to uh, ang sagot natin dito since ang, uh, ang final answer na unit natin is pound force per square feet. So, hindi pa yan PSI dahil yung PSI is pound force per square inch. Tama ba? Sagot natin dito is 2119.135. Okay? So, hindi pa yan yung tamang sabgod. Since ang hinahanap dito is PSI, convert muna natin. 1 square feet is equal to 12 square inch. Right? So, squared pa yan. I mean, 1 feet is equal to 12 inch. So squared pa yan. So, 144. So, therefore, the final answer is 14.716 pound force per inch squared or that is PSI. Okay ba? Okay? <laughs> okay pa naman. Okay, let's try and solve this one. Find the pressure on the pipe. So we need to find the pressure here on the pipe. So to find the pressure of the pipe, from the pressure here, mas malaki yung pipe. Uh, pressure ng pipe. So, pressure ng pipe minus pressure ng, ano nga to? Pressure ng air, di ba? And then, binigay ng pressure ng air, which is 370 kilopascal. So, binigyan lang yung pressure ng air dito. Equal to the, the uh, specific weight times height. So, mar marami tong values na to, pagdadaan na natin. Which is the air, water, the oil, and mercury, and then yung gasoline. So, ito yung perfect example ng how to solve manometers. Daming liquids. Or P gauge na lang. P gauge na lang. Okay. Okay. That is P pipe minus P gauge equal to the specific weight of all these liquids inside times the differences of their heights. Okay. So, lipat muna natin dahil ang hinahanap is yung pressure ng pipe. So, therefore, that is positive P gauge plus or minus the, the specific weight of all the liquids times their differences. Okay, again, if we go down, we add the specific weight and the height. If we go up, we subtract. Okay, from P pipe 
So, P gauge here is 370 na question. Kilopascal. Okay, from this point, okay, patapos na tayo dito, P gauge. So, ang P gauge is equal to the pressure of air. Okay? So, simula tayo dito. Since mara, ma, tapos na tayo dito, di ba? Ang pressure dito is 370. So, simula tayo dito sa water to the end point. So, from go, from from this point here, water, to the end point of water, we go up. Tama? So, this is minus or plus? This is minus. Minus water. The specific weight of water is the SG of water. This is SI unit times the specific weight of water, 9.81. Times the pressure difference from this point to this point is 45 centimeter. Or that is 45 divided by 100 meters. Next, from point, from the end point of water to the end point of, uh, from the starting point of oil to the end point of oil. So this one. So from this point to this point, we go down. Tama ba? So we add. Okay. So we add and then. That is what's uh, specific weight or the specific weight of oil is the specific gravity ng oil times the specific weight of water. Okay, times the difference is 50 centimeter. 50 divided by 100 meters. Okay, next. Uh, from the starting point here of Mercury to the last point of Mercury, we go up. Tama? So, we subtract ulit. Subtract. The specific weight of Mercury is the SG of Mercury, 13.6 times the specific weight of water, 9.81 kN per cubic meter. What is their differences? That is 10 centimeter, which is 10 divided by 100 para magiging meter. Okay, next. Last one is from this first point of gasoline to the end point of gasoline, this one. Which is, we go up again from this point. So, taya tayo ay magsasubtract ulit. Sasubtract ng specific weight ng gasoline is the SG of gasoline, which is 0.70. Ito, 0.70 times 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meter times the difference is 22 centimeter divided by 100. Right? So, yan lang. P pipe is equal to, if you solve that one, makukuha mo yung 354.608 kilo pascal. Magkati ng ilaw. Kuha to. So, please practice with this one. And then, next. Mali pala yung kanina. Skip to. Okay. This type of manometer is an closed manometer, differential manometer. So, a differential manometer is attached to a pipe shown in the figure. What is the difference between pressure A and pressure B? Pressure A minus pressure B. So, wali pala tayo kanina. Pag, kung saan tayo magsasabtract, doon pala tayo magsisi. Mag -si -si. Wala. Okay? So, start natin. Okay. That is the specific weight times the height. So, try natin ha. So, PA minus PB. So, kung saan tayo, kung saan tayo nagsasubtract, since example, PB, doon tayo magsisimula sa PB. Pwede namang PA is equal to specific weight plus PB. So, magsisimula ka sa PA, pero yung sign ng PB is magiging positive. Okay. So, simula tayo sa PB. So, PA minus PB. Ang hinanap kasi is the pressure difference between PA and PB. Okay. 
Tryin muna natin. Kasi merong ano kanina. So from pressure B, so from pressure B tayo to pressure A. So from pressure B, this is um we go up up until this point. So this point here is uh since we go up tayo and we go up we go up Okay, we go up tayo. This is uh, the liquid we are solving is oil. Ama? Ang black na to is mercury. So, nasa oil pa tayo. 0.9 ba to? 0.91 pa. 0.91 times the specific weight of water. This is in English, ha? 62.4 pound force. Ba't ang kape? Ilaw times their height. So, ano ba yung height from PB to this point? So, that is Y plus 4. So, 4 inches pa yan. Divide natin ang 12 para magiging feet, para mag-cancel to. Plus Y. Okay? Next, from this point to this point. Okay? So, we go down. Kaya magiging ah, kanina, negative pala yan. Okay, so we add. So from this point to the end point of mercury, so that is mercury 13.6 is 1 times the specific weight of water in English times the difference of this end point to end point is 4 inches. Divide ko lang ng 12 para magiging feet. Okay, next point is from this point to the last point. So, tayo ay, uh, from this point, uh, tayo ay bumaba, ba? So, this is another pass plus. Uh, we're solving again this white portion, the oil, 0 0.91 times 62.4 pound force per feet times their difference is y okay so may magka-cancel dito as i can see uh yung uh, asan magka-cancel dito yung point 91 chak yes magka-cancel yan does it This is negative 0 0.91 times 62.4. Ah, sige, isayin na lang natin. Paano ba? Negative 0 0.91. Kasi siya times 62.4. Tigo ko kasi nasa auto. Times 62.4 times 4. 4 over 12. So this is... Oh, okay, is Y. Kunin mo natin yung paano naging cancel. Ako nakakansel. So this is 0.91 times 62.4 times Y. This is negative 66.4 times Y. Right, plus 13.6. Times 62.4 times 4 over 12. This is 282.88, this one. And the last one is, magiging positive yan, 0 0.91 times 62.4 times y. Say it's positive, 56.784y. Kaya sinabi ko, magka-cancel yun kanina. So, PA minus PB is equal to 282.88 minus 18.928. 
Tuwa ba? Yes, that is 263.952. So, tunay na yan. Uh, this is PSI, pound, ay, ano pala, P, uh, pound force per, ito lang, pound force per square foot. Hindi naman, hindi naman sinabi niya na PSI. Okay, pag tinanong lang na PSI, convert mo siya to PSI. Gets pa ba? So, mali pala tayo kanina doon sa example na dito. So, balitad pa yung process natin. May nakikita ba yung screen? Kita mo sir. Okay, so from P1 minus P4, start pala tayo sa P4. Hindi tayo magsastart sa P1. Okay? Start tayo sa P4. Balikan natin. Kung ano yung isa subtract doon kayo magsisimula. So pang P4 to P3 tayo ay uh, bumaba. Tama ba? So this is positive. Positive uh, 1 times 9.81 A times 20 centimeter divide 100. Okay. From point 0.3 to point 0.2 tayo tumang, uh, tumaas. So, minus. Minus SG ng oil, point 0.8 times 9.81 times 30 centimeter over 100. Next. From point 0.2 to point 0.1 tayo ay bumaba. So, positive. Positive. 13.6 times 9.81 uh, times the difference is 15 centimeter. Okay, so yun yung P1 minus P4. Check ko lang ha. Yeah, 19.62 kilopascal. Yan, o ulitin ko ha. Pag magsasubtract tayo ng P1 minus P4, kung ano yung second point, doon kayo magsisimula. Okay, P4 going down. P3 to P2 going up. P2 to P1 going down. Mali kanina. So, same tayo doon sa last part natin. So, since we are delay, uh, we are subtracting PA to PB, Saan tayo magsisimula? Sa P, B. Okay? So, five, the fifth example. So, a monometer is attached to a tank containing three different fluids as shown in the figure. Find the difference in the elevation of mercury in the column. So, ang inahanap dito is P, B minus P, A. Okay? So, paano ko nasabi na PV minus PA? I, I mean, baliktad pala. PA minus PB. Okay, mas malaki yung PA sa PB. Okay. Ang PA natin, marami pa siya mga liquid. So, all you need to do is to add the air pressure, oil and water. Yun yung magiging pressure ng A. Sa PB naman, May pressure ba tayo sa PB? Ito yung PB natin, guys. May binigay ba na ano? Atmospheric? So, magiging zero to, ba? So, PA is equal to the specific weight of the substance times the height. So, pa going down lang lahat yan, so magiging positive lang yan. Okay? Ano ba yung hinahanap dito? The difference in the elevation. Itong Y. Okay, so start tayo sa uh, air pressure which is uh, positive and negative, 30 kilopascal. Again, always positive yan dahil pa going down tayo. So this is oil, 0. 0.82 times 9.81 times 30 
times the difference from 5 minus 2, that is 3 meters, right? Next, plus again the water, which is 1. Um, 1 times 9.81. Times the difference, which is uh, 2 meters. Tama ba? 2 meters. Okay, so from point here, point A to point B, tayo ay... Diba? Ito yung last ng... Uh, ano pala to? May 1 meters pa pala. So, therefore, this is 3 meters. Right? The point of water to point here, kasi dito yung nag-stop yung water... This is 1 meter. Therefore, the difference is 3 meters. Okay? 3. Next is yung mercury natin. From point there to point there, tayo ay umanga. Diba? So, this is minus, um, mercury is 13.6 times 9.81 times the height which is yung hinahanap, yung pressure difference na Y. So, PA natin is, uh, yun yung total dito, yung PA. Ito na pala yung PA natin. Teka lang, paano to? So, yung total pala ng PA natin is itong uh uh, itong mismong uh, positive minus na specific weights ng liquid times height. So, yun na pala yung hinahanap dito. So, equal zero. So, therefore, 30 kilopascal plus 0.82 9.81 since ito yung total ng pressure dito ay sa point A. Okay? Um, times 3 meters plus 9.81 times 3 meters. Uh, lipat na lang natin yung mga unknown variable. 13.6 times 9.81 times the y. So, if you sub, uh, multiply this one, then divide by 13.6 times 9.81, makukuha mo yung y equal to 0.626 meters or that is y is equal to 62.63 centimeters yan pala yung next um the last example for pressures is one. What is binigyan tayo ng incline? Okay? When measuring small pressure differences with the manometer, often one arm of the manometer is inclined to improve the accuracy of the reading. The pressure difference is still proportional to the vertical distance and not the actual length of the fluid along the tube. The air pressure in the circular duct is to be measured using manometer whose open arm is inclined to 25 degrees. Panda horizontal. As the shown in the figure, the density of the liquid of the manometer is 0.81 kilogram liter. So, ang binigay na dito is density pa lang. Okay, density pa lang. Hindi siya specific weight. Or hindi siya SG. So, and the vertical distance between the fluid levels in two arms of manometer is 8 centimeters. Determine the gauge pressure in the duct. So, find the P pressure at the duct above the fluid level in the vertical arm. So, so we need to find the pressure of the duct. Since wala tong pressure or zero, dito na tayo magsisimula. Pressure ng duct or pressure ng air is equal to this one. Uh, Okay, yung P2 natin is P duct. 
ang ating P1 is walang atmospheric na sinabi sa magiging zero. Yan. Okay. So next, ano yung sinabi niya dito? That the pressure difference is always on the vertical distance and not on the, uh, ang tawag dito? Sa slant distance, okay? So, pag nagkuha tayo ng H, hindi yun sa slant, hindi doon sa vertical distance. So, this is specific weight ng substance. So, ang binigay dito is the density. How do we find the density? Ay, how do we find the specific weight in terms of density? That is density times the gravitational pull. So, convert mo lang natin yung uh, liters since... Let's show na tayo ha. That is density times gravitational pull times height. Since hindi kasi SG yung binigay dito. So iba yung formula natin. Right? May marang, maraming formulas naman tayo. So that is 0.81 kilogram per liter times... Kailangan natin cubic meter to. So that is 1,000 liters equivalent to 1 cubic meter times G, which is 9.81. Or 9.8. Times the pressure of the heights. Again, yung height dito is always on the vertical distance. And not on the slant. Okay? Ang height ay laging vertical distance. Hindi tayo magme-measure ng height pa slant. Always vertical. That is 8 centimeter divided 100 para magiging meter. So, pressure ng duct is equal to 635.688. Again, magkaiba yung units natin dito. This is kilogram meter per second squared, right? Uh, so, bali, ang, ang ano niya is newton meter squared, di ba? So, this is pascal. This is, uh, wait, kilogram. Ito natin, kulay. This is kilogram, meter per second, which is newton. Tama? This is newton. And then, meters cube minus meter, I divide by meter is meter squared. Kaya nagiging newton per square meter or pascal. So, magkaiba yung formula ng specific weight if binigay yung density. Magkaiba din yung formula if ang binigay is SG. Pag SG naman, that is SG ng substance times the specific weight of water. Okay? So, tapos na tayo dito sa manometers. So, I'll be giving you practice solving and I hope that you can solve that one para ma-practice nyo yung solution. So, let's proceed to the second topic and then after this, magkakaroon tayo ng break. Okay. So, we do have buoyancy, the second topic. Buoyancy is uh, influenced by the law of Archimedes' principle states that any body immersed in a fluid is acted upon by an upward force equal to the weight of the displaced fluid. So, kung ano yung example, if this is a full, uh, a full of glass of water in container na yan, Pag kayo ay nag-dip doon, tapos ang, kung ano yung na-displace na tubig, kung ano yung na-flow na, na tubig, yun yung mismong weight ng isang bagay na nakalutang. So that is the uh, Archimedes Principle. Okay, so proceed tayo sa ano ng formula. So the formula to get the buoyant force is equal to this one or FB equal to ang katin ng ilong ko. FB is equal to the specific weight of liquid times the uh, uh, volume ng liquid displaced. Okay? So for equilibrium, uh, that is uh, FB equal to the weight of the object. So ganito lang yung pag ano ng Archimedes principle. The fluid immersed. 
or the buoyant force is equal to the weight of the object displaced. Okay. So, let's have an example para mas maintindihan. So, yun lang yun. So, yung... Ang buoyant force is equal to the weight. So, yun. So, therefore, kung isa-subtract natin, magiging equilibrium. So, let's have an example. An iceberg, 0.92, is floating on salt water which is 1.03. If the volume of the ice above the water is 1,000 cubic centimeter, a cubic meter, what is the total volume of the ice? So, so again, uh, the weight of this one is equal to the weight of the... Ay, baliktad pala. Ayan. BF. Okay? So, therefore, what, uh, weight is minus BF is equal to zero to make the object into equilibrium. So, the weight of the object is equal to the buoyant force exerted. So, this is... Ang sinabi niya, ang um, volume pala ng ice ng sa water surface, if the volume of the ice above the water, above the water, so, ang volume dito is... Hmm. Anong ba tawag dito? This is 1,000. So, ano yung volume? Displaced. Hmm. Ano yung volume? Displaced. Okay? So, i-draw natin. So, lipat muna natin. Uh, hmm, wait na lang. Okay. Kublai. Weight is equal to the buoyant force. So, ilisan natin ang kulay. So, ang weight ng iceberg is, uh, ano nga yung formula na yun? The weight is equal to uh, the specific weight times the volume. Okay? So, ano yung specific weight? Ah, Sakit ng ilong ko. This is the specific weight of the uh, ice and the specific uh, volume of the ice so this is the total volume of the ice which is para mas maintindihan guys iniiba-iba ko yung kulay okay So, ang VF naman or the total force here on the displaced water is the weight of the displaced water. Which is, ang displaced water is uh, specific weight ng, uh, ano to, this is salt water. Times the volume ng displaced na to, ito. Again, the weight of the iceberg is the specific weight of the ice, or I mean, the specific weight of the iceberg, which is 0.92, times their total volume, equal to the buoyant force. Ang buoyant force naman is yung nasa water surface, which is the, the volume of the uh, salt water. That is the specific weight of the salt water times the volume displaced. So, ang volume lang na dito nakuha is yung, ito, volume displaced. So, the specific weight of ice, that is 0.92. Times 9.81. Times the volume of the ice is equal to 1,000 plus the volume displaced. Okay? So, yung buong ice equal to the volume displaced dito which is equal to the 
salt water grab uh, the salt the specific gravity of salt water 1.03 times 9.81 times the volume displaced, which is unknown, or volume displaced, VD. So, makukuha mo yan using uh, shift solve. The volume displaced is 8363.636 cubic meter. Okay? So, ang hinahanap dito kasi, what is the total volume of the ice? So, meaning, ang total volume ng ice, total is equal to 1,000 plus the volume displaced. It's 1,000 plus 8363.636 cubic meter. Nine three six three point six three six. Gets ba? Okay, second example. Wait, wait. Cube of timber, 1.25 on each side, floats in water. The specific gravity of timber is 0. 0.6. Find the submerged depth of the cube. So again, the W is equal to the buoyant force. Okay, so or from weight minus BF is equal to zero. So how do we find the weight? So if we analyze that one, taka lang, change natin yung kulay. That is the total weight. So yung buoyant force, yun lang yung naka-submerge. Okay? And this is equal to, again, yung uh, formula ng weight it is the specific weight of the total, this one, timber, times the volume of the timber. Right? Okay, timber is T na lang para magkasya. Equal to the volume displaced, uh, the specific weight of the water. Ano yung water na to? This is a uh, water. Water times the volume ng uh, dito. Okay, the specific weight of timber is given by 0. 0.60. Which is, that is 0. 0.60 times... Uh, this is in feet, so that is 62.4 pound force, the specific weight of water in English, times total volume. So how do we find the total volume? So it's a cube of timber 1.25 on each side. Uh, teka lang, 1.25 on each side. So cube siya meaning same side, so 1.25. 1.25 and then 1.25. So, ang volume niya is 1.25 times 1.25 times 1.25. Next, ang specific weight ng liquid na kasubverge dito is just water. So, 1 times specific weight ng water, 62.4 pound force per cubic feet times the volume of the submerged. Yung nakasubverge lang na volume is... Uh, this is 1.25 times 1.25 times the draft. Hindi natin alam to. Ito yung hinahanap. Okay? So, meaning the volume is uh, 1.25 times 1.25 times the draft. So, ito yung hinahanap, yung draft na yan. Gets ba? So, yes, D is, taka lang i-check ko kung ano yung sagot dito. 62.4 times 1.25 cube 
1 times 62.4 times 1.25 squared times alpha x. Ang sagot ito is exactly pala 0.75 feet. So that is the draft of the submerged timber. Okay, let's proceed. Uh, this is water. <clears throat> okay, let's proceed to example number three. Okay, a block of wood, 0.2 meters thickness, this one, is floating in seawater. Okay, the specific weight of, the specific gravity of wood is 0.65, this one. While that of the seawater is SG ng seawater and it is floating is 1.03. Find the minimum area of the block of the wood which will the man which will support a man weighing 80 kilograms. So this is weight equal to PF. Okay. Ang weight dito is dalawa na. Weight ng man plus weight ng wood equal to the BF of wood. Okay. Ang weight ng man can be measured using mass times gravity, which is 80 kilogram yung mass ng man. So, 80 kilogram times 9.81 meters per second squared. Right? Since this is in uh, uh, Newton, divide natin para magiging kilonewton. Divide natin ng uh, 1,000. Kasi dito, ang sinusolve natin is kilonewton per uh, cubic meter, yung ating specific weight. So, ang weight naman ng wood is equal to uh, specific weight. Ah, hindi mo natin is shortcut. So, sulat natin yung formula. This is the specific weight of wood times the volume of wood. This is the specific weight of the salt water times the volume of the salt water. Okay? So, this is uh, 80 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared. Divide ko siya ng 1,000 para magiging kilonewton. Okay? Plus, the specific weight of wood that is 0.85 specific gravity times 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meter Kaya dinivide natin ng 1,000 to. Kasi kilonewton tayo. And times the volume of the uh, wood, which is, ang sinabi dito, ang wood na yan is naka-totally submerged, di ba? Totally submerged. Totally submerged. So, this is the person. Naka-totally submerged. So, the same sila ng uh, volume. Which is, ang area, ito yung inahanap, times the thickness na 0.2 meters. So, therefore, the volume is A times 0.2 meters. So, area times 0.2 meters. So, equal to the specific weight of salt water, that is 1.03 specific gravity times 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meter times the area which is the same a lang di magskasya bitin ko lang specific gravity 1.03 times 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meter times area times 0.2 oh, yeah change ko na lang ng kulay Again, yung block of wood is totally submerged. Therefore, yung volume ng displays tsaka volume ng wood is the same, right? So, if you try to solve that using calculator, you'll get area kasi yun yung inahanap equal to 1.053 square meter. That is the area that needed to support a person.
Okay. So, yan. Check ko lang. Nagigets ba bakit ko to dinivide ng 1,000? Hello? Tulog na kayo? Para po makancel yung kilonewton ko. Okay, very good. So, para makancel yung kilonewton. Kasi ang kilogram meter per second squared is just newton. Okay, very good. So, yan. So, fourth example. A uniform block of steel, SG ng steel is 7.85, will float at a mercury. Water interface as shown in the figure. What is the ratio of the distances of A and B for this condition? Okay, so, this is... So, dalawa na siya, di ba? So, baliktad yung kanina. So, this is BF ng water. Since nakalubog na yung water. Plus... Uh, buoyant force ng mercury equal to the weight. Okay. So, this is BF equal to the weight. Or weight is equal to BF. Right? So, how do we find the BF of water? That is the specific weight of water times the volume of water plus The specific weight of mercury times the volume of mercury. This is the total volume of the block of steel. Steel times the volume of steel. So let's try to analyze by drawing it. Okay. So yung steel na to. And then this one is just okay. So yun. Ang nasa baba is nakasubmerge yung water. Nasa, ay, nasa taas, yung water yung nakasubmerge. Yung nasa baba is uh, yung mercury nakasubmerge equal to the total volume of the steel. Ay! Okay, so how do we analyze this one? That is the specific weight ng water equal to uh, 1 times 9.81. That is the specific weight of water, which is 9.81 times the volume of the water. So, ang volume ng water, sinabi dito, this is A. And then, uh, the area here is... Ano ba dito? A, this is A. And this is... Uh, okay, so this is the area. And this is the area. The surface area. Mm, surface area. So the volume of this one is A times A, right? A times A. So this is the surface area times the thickness A. <coughs> Plus... So, this is mercury, 13.6 times 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meter. Times the area of this one is, this is B, right? This is B times area A. Or, inahan natin yung A. Okay, next. Yung total niya is, uh, this is timber, which is uh, 7.85 Sinabi dito, 7.85. 7.85 times 9.81 times yung area niya is uh, A times A times B. Uh, A times, ah, uh, shit. A times A plus B. So that is the volume. Of this one. So, A plus B times A. Right? So, as you can see, meron tayong mga cancel dito. This one. So, yung A. Ah, uh, wait. Hmm. And this one. 
Wait, saan yun? 9.81 times 13.6. Ang 9.81 tsaka A, 9.81 tsaka A, ang 9.81 tsaka A. Okay? Common kasi sila sa lahat ng equation. So, ang matitira dito is A plus 13.6B equal to 7.85 A plus B. Okay, so this is A plus 13.6B equal to 7.85 A plus 7.85 B. So combined like terms, magkakaroon ka ng 5.75 B equal to 6.85 A. So, ang hinanap dito is the distances ratio from A to B. So, divide lang natin ng 5.75. Ay! Tama ba? A to B pala. So, divide ng 6. Ang hinahanap is A to B. So, therefore... A2. Wait. Divided by 6.85. That is 0.839B. Okay? Okay. So that is the ratio between A to B. Gets ba? So let's proceed to, okay na to, last example. Let's proceed to the last example before we take a break. Okay na to? Okay na po sir. Okay, so a piece of lead is tied to a 130 cubic centimeter of cork whose specific gravity is 0.25. They float just submerged in water. What is the specific weight of the lead? Again, the major formula is weight equal to PF. So all of the weights here are submerged. Therefore, dalawa yung weight, dalawa din yung BF. Okay, so this is... Uh, weight ng cork, weight ng lead, weight ng cork plus weight ng lead equal to the B, buoyant force ng cork plus buoyant force ng lead. Ay, sinulat na pala dyan. No need to. So that is just the total vertical motions, okay? Next, the formula for the weight of the cork, that is the specific weight of the cork, times the volume of the cork plus the specific weight of the lead and the volume of the lead. Okay? The buoyant force is the specific weight of the cork submerged. This one, or... Uh, yun, yung water na equivalent dito na nakasubmerge sa cork times the volume of the cork submerged plus the specific weight of the cork at uh, the lead submerge times the volume of the lead submerge. Okay. So the, the specific weight of the cork is uh, nasan dito? So, 130, ah, wait, 11.3. Hindi. Specific gravity ng cork. Ah, ito pala, 0.25. Ang lead ay 11.3. Okay, get? So, yung volume ng cork, ang hinahanap kasi dito is the Volume and the weight of the lead. Okay? So, ang volume ng cork is 130 cubic centimeter. So, i-divide mo siya ng 
100 cube para magiging meter. So, convert natin dito. 100 cubic centimeter. 100 centimeter equivalent to 1 cubic meter. So that is point zero 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 one three cubic meter. Okay, para hindi na tayo magkonvert. Okay. Next is the specific weight ng cord is equivalent to point twenty five. Clear na tayo nito. The SG of the cord times 9.81 specific weight ng water times volume ng cord which is 0.00013 cubic meter. So plus, dito pa tayo sa second. This is specific weight of the lead which is the specific gravity of the lead 11.3 times the specific weight of water, 9.81. Okay? Times the volume of the lead, which is unknown, volume of the lead. Ito yung hinahanap natin, uunahin natin yan. Equal to the specific weight of the cork submerged, which is equal to, ano nga ito? This is water. Water lang ba? Oh yeah, water. SG ng water is 1, or Specific weight ng water is 9.81. Okay, that is water, 1 times 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meter times, nagkakasya pa ba ito? The volume of the cork submerged, which is just equal kasi totally submerged siya, 0.00013 cubic meter. Okay, plus... The volume of the liquid submerged by the lead, which is same water, times the volume of the lead, which is unknown. Okay? Gets ba ito? Do you have any question? Paano ito nakuha? So, ang unknown dito is volume ng lead. If you try to solve it using calculator, ang volume ng lead is 9.466 times 10 raised to negative 6 cubic meter. Again, we need to find also the weight of the lead. Weight of the lead is equivalent to the specific weight of the lead. Ito yun, plus the volume of the lead. Specific weight ng lead is uh, 11.3 times 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meter times volume ng lead na 9.466 times 10 raised to negative 6. So, ang weight ng lead is equivalent to uh, 0.001049 kilonewton. Check natin. 11.3 times 9.81 times 9.466 in ay or ayan tama so any question before we take a break we do have last topic the ano The hydrostatic force. Hello? Okay na ba? Okay na po, sir. Okay na po, sir. Okay, so let's take a break. Let's be back at 9.30. 9.30.
Okay, so let's proceed with our last topic. Kung di matay matapos ngayon, we will continue on Friday and then we still have to we still have time to have our quiz after. Eh, do you have my screen now? Nakita niyo yung screen ko? Kita na po. Okay, so wait, stop that type. Okay, so last topic. For midterms, we have hydrostatic forces on plane surface. So, meron din tayong hydrostatic force on a curve, curved surfaces. So, baka hindi na tayo mag-curved surfaces. May plane tayo, straight and saka naka-angle. So, the formula for the force, so last semester, dinarib namin to kung paano to na nabuo yung formula. So, the formula for hydrostatic force is just the force equal to the specific weight of the substance or the uh, the water or the liquid times the h h bar is the vertical distance from the centroid to the liquid surface and the area of area of the object that is submerged so that is the uh, how do you find the hydrostatic force so yun so in explain ko lang yung formula because ayun ayun nga fast paced tayo ngayon sa summer so, yun lang naman yung importante dito on how to solve a certain problem using the formula and using the comprehension of, uh, using your comprehension. So, next uh, next parameter to solve the problem for hydrostatic force is yung value ng E. So, E is the eccentricity. Eccentricity is equal to the uh, inertia uh, due to, uh, moment of inertia due to uh, the centroidal axis over the area times the distance from CP to the plane surface. So, let's have an example para mas maintindihan. So, magkaiba yung centro, center of gravity sa center of pressure. So, ito pala yung mga common inertia of centroidal axis. So, magdedepende kung ano yung shape na sinabmerge natin. Uh, Pag circle, ang gagamitin natin inertia is pi r4 over 4. Ito lang naman yung ano natin, focus, mga inertia. Pag circle, ito yung inertia, pi r raised to 4 over 4. Pag rectangle, yung sinamerge natin sa tubig or sa any liquid, bh cube over 12. Tatandaan nyo yan ha. Ito yung laging ginagamit natin. 
Pag triangle naman, that is BH cube over 36. So, mostly ito yung mga ginagamit. Okay, so let's have an example. Number one. So, a vertical rectangular plate, 1 meter wide and 3 meter high is submerged in water with its top edge on the surface. Find the total pressure acting or the total hydrostatic force. Malito. Okay. Hydrostatic force acting on the side of the plate and its location from the bottom of the plane. Okay. Let's draw it uh, using the two-dimensional view. So, meron siyang rectangular plate na nakasubmerge sa water. Ang top surface niya is on the surface. O yung top pala, yung top side niya is on the surface. Yung measurement ng rectangle is 3 meters high and uh, ano yung wide? 1 meter wide. Baliktad pala to. Talang. Okay, so ganun. So, nakasubmerge sa sa isang water. So, ano yung specific weight ng water? That is 9.81. Laging tatandaan yan. Okay. So, to find the total hydrostatic pressure, ano nga yung formula na yun? Uh, force pala. That is the specific weight of the medium that is submerged times the H bar times the area. Area of the object. So force is equal to the specific weight of the of the liquid where the object is submerged is that is water, de ba? So that is one times nine point eighty one, or it is just equal to nine point eighty one meter. Next is the h bar. H bar is the centroid to the surface. So, how do we find the centroid of the rectangle? That is just the half of the height. Diba? H bar is equal to 1.5. Times area ng rectangle that is 3 meters by 1 meter. So, that is the total hydrostatic force. Okay, so this is CG. Uh, 44.145 kilonewton, right? Next is to find the center of the location from the bottom of the plane. So we need to find the center of pressure. So hindi ko nasabi kanina, yung center of gravity guys, uh, yung center of pressure pala is uh, lower than of the center of gravity. So theoretically, if this is the side view of this, this one, ito yung side view ng vertical rectangular plate, ang, ang center of pressure, ang ibig sabihin nun is doon magko-concentrate yung total force. So doon yung hydrostatic force na mag -aak. Okay? So ang sinusolve natin, ito yung total hydrostatic force. Ang location niya is hindi doon sa center of gravity. Doon siya sa center of pressure. Doon siya mag -aak. And usually, and always pala, yung center of gravity, ay center of pressure is always below than, below of the center of gravity. Okay? So pag nasolve natin yung center of pressure, ay yung hydrostatic force, mag -aak yan below sa center of gravity. So, how do we find the center of pressure? So, dito kasi yan mag yung F. Okay, how do we find that one? So, the formula is, since this is rectangle, naalala nyo pa yun. So, the eccentricity is equal to the inertia at the centroidal axis over the area times the uh, Y bar. Or Y bar for this type of Y bar is equal to H bar if that is, uh, if the plane is uh, uh, straight. 
or no angle okay. if hindi naka angle so this one is again ano yung uh, inertia ng rectangle that is ph cube over 12 area ng rectangle that is length uh, base times height right or yun base times height times the y bar is equal to h bar which is 1.5 meters okay so e is equal to uh, arrange muna natin yung formula So, pwede natin ibaba yung 12 tapos base times height times y bar. Pwede ganito. Algebra na to, di ba? Para mas madali tayo mag-compute. Ang base natin is which is yung maliit, 1 meter base. Yung height natin is 3 meters cube. 12 times 1 times 3 meters times y bar which is 1.5 meters. Uh, eccentricity pa lang pala to. So, eccentricity is uh, 0.5 meters. So, ano yung ibig sabihin ng eccentricity? Eccentricity is the difference and uh, the distance from CG to CP. Okay, ang hinahanap natin yung CP, di ba? CP from the bottom of the plane. So, meron na tayong E, which is, this is the E. So, to find the value of CP from the bottom kasi, ito yung datum. Minsan, ang hinahanap ng CP is from the surface. So, tan uh, lagi kayang nakikinig sa tanong. It's location from the bottom. So, dito yung from the bottom. So, therefore, the CP is equal to uh, the half of CG which is 1.5 minus E. Right? CP is 1.5 minus E. 0.5 meters. That is 1 meter. Okay. So, dito mag act yung force sa CP. Yung uh, ang pwersa na to ay mag act doon sa center of pressure which is below below of the center of gravity. Next. Okay na to? So let's have two problems. Okay. So a vertical triangular gate with top base horizontal and 1.5 meter high is 3 meters. Ah, uh, 1.5 wide, 3 meter high. Ito yung ating object submerged vertically or straight, which is yung surface niya is 2 meters above the surface. It is submerged on oil. Submerged siya sa oil na 0.82. With its top base submerged at depth of 2 meters. Determine the magnitude and the location of the hydrostatic force or pressure measured from CG acting on one side of the gate. So, again, ano yung formula ng force natin? Specific weight times H bar times the area. Okay. So, for triangle, magkakaiba yung centroid ng apex downward sa apex upward. ba? Nasa physics nyo to. Okay. So, for this type of uh, triangle that is apex downward, the apex is downward, therefore, the center of gravity is one-third from the surface. Right? One-third of height. Okay, pagbaliktad naman, that is two-thirds of the height. Gets ba yun? To find the center of gravity of the triangle. So, the specific weight of the uh, liquid submerged by that triangle is Sg ng oil, 0.82 times 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meter times the h-bar. Ano nga yung h-bar? h-bar is the distance from the CG to the surface. 
So, ano yung magiging h bar natin? So, that is one third ng 3 is just 1 meter. 1 meter plus 2 meter, this is the h bar. h bar is 3 meters. Area ng triangle, that is 1 half times base times height, which is times 3 times 1.5. Gets ba? So, total hydrostatic force is equal to 54.5. 2.98 kilonewton. Okay, the location of its force, this is CP. Uh, ang inhanap pala is the determine the location of its from the CG. So, ang inhanap dito is letter E. Okay, so the eccentricity is equal to the centroidal axis of inertia times area times the Y bar. So, Y bar is equal to H bar if vertically submerged. Okay. So, for triangle, ano nga yung formula na yun? Triangle, there is BH cube over 36. Over area ng triangle, it is 1 half. Base times height times Y bar, which is equal to H bar. So, let's arrange first magiging ano to BH cube times 36 times 1 half times BH Y bar, okay? Narange ko lang. Base natin is 1.5. Ang height ng triangle is 3 meters cube over 36 uh, times 1 half times 1.5 base times 3 meters times y bar which is 1 meter. Ay, y bar is 3 meters. So the answer for this one e is equal to 0.167 meters. Distance of the hydrostatic force from the CG. Okay? So, this is, dito mag act yung force sa center of pressure. So, hanggang dito muna lang tayo para may mga isagot naman kayo doon sa exam natin. So, hanggang dito yung exam natin na hanggang hydrostatic force vertically submerged. So, meron pa tayong inclined na parang ganito. Meron pang ganito na problem. So, hanggang dito lang naman ang ating exam. Gets ba? So, let's end the class. Nandiyan pa ba kayo? So, ayun. Uh, ang quiz naman natin is online on Friday. So, af before the quiz, uh, i-continue natin yung inclined na ano submerge object using hydrostatic force and then yun ang exam natin is from the properties to the hydrostatic force vertically submerged any question kasali yung pressure ha magbibigay ako sa inyo ng problems so practice solving doon sa manometer reading tsaka doon sa uh, ano yun? yung sa capillary fall and surface tension so bahala na kayo if sasagutan nyo or hindi so pag nasagot nyo PM nilang ako at ibibigay ko sa inyo yung sagot yung find uh, yung correct answer okay do you have any question para may practice naman kayo Para may more examples pa kayong ipapractice. So yung ano natin na online tayo lahat pero yung ating major exams is face to face. So take note of that. So if you don't have any other question, then see you on Friday and ingat kayo lagi. Thank you for listening. Thank you po sir.
Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you